Oxwhip was created as a society to connect talented and ambitious women across the University of Oxford. We support our members who are male and female um, through inter an international mentorship program, skills workshops and speaker events. We are delighted and incredibly honored to welcome Jacqueline Gold to Oxford Inspirational Women series. Jacqueline is the CEO of Ann Summers and Nickerbox and over the years she has really transformed the sex industry and the way it operates. Ann Summers has become a multi-million pound business with over 140 stores across the UK. I just by chance got invited to um, what was called a Pippa D party. I got chatting to the women at the party. They uh, knew that I, I was doing work experience at Ann Summers, which back then was just so male dominated. You, you mentioned it was really um, aimed at men. And they were saying to me, you know, we, we want to be able to spice up our sex lives. We want to be able to go to parties. We want to be able to buy sexy underwear. And of course, back then, you could not buy sexy underwear in the high street like you can today. So, you know, during this whole last 35 years or 40 years, um, it really has been quite a crusade in changing it from sort of um, a real raincoat brigade type uh, environment and customer to now what we have today is, you know, 80% of our customers going into stores now are women. There are so many stories. I mean, it was just so challenging at the beginning. Um, you know, I was 21 years old. Um, I mean, even taking my idea to the board, um, after that first party I was telling you about, I, I then thought, right, I'm, there is a real gap in the market here. So I put, put together, um, a, you know, a pretty basic uh, business plan. And I remember sort of walking up to the boardroom, uh, so nervous with my piece of paper and walking into this room full of grey suited middle aged men, talking about my idea. And one board member stood up, threw his pen down on the table and said, you know, well, this isn't going to work, is it? Women aren't even interested in sex, which obviously said a lot more about his sex life uh, than it did about my idea. Um, but that was just one of, of the many, the many challenges that I had. Um, you know, I had difficulty uh, holding a conference. I remember trying to hold a conference in Coventry uh, because when they realised it was Anne Summers, they refused to, you know, they canc cancelled the booking. Um, when I tried to open a store in Dublin, I received a bullet through the post. First of all, I think it's really important that we uh, support the women around us. Secondly, it's really important to raise your head above the parapet and boldly celebrate your successes. I think, you know, as women, sometimes we don't do that and we think, oh, that's you know, I, I, it's better to be, uh, you know, play down, play things down. But, you know, a man wouldn't do that. And it's important that women don't do it. And we need to show other women and inspire other women that that's a good thing to do. I think when you're in meetings, um, you know, again, we tend to sit back and let men do the talking. Nobody wants a mute at the meeting. You know, we all want to hear somebody that's got something to say and has an opinion. Um, so it's good to be one of the first people to speak and not be shy of saying something that might not be popular, but you will be memorable. And that's a really good thing. And one of the things I did for myself that I really urge you to do is to write an email to yourself, listing out all of the amazing things you've achieved. Keep adding to it. And every time you step outside your comfort zone and you have a bit of a wobble or you think, can I do this? You know, if there's a bit of self-doubt, read it back to yourself because you'll suddenly realize what an amazing, awesome person you are. You need to be your own cheerleader as well as surrounding yourself by positive people. Not networking enough. And I think women do tend to, um, you know, hold back from networking. And in fairness, you know, networking events are quite contrived. You know, it's mm. almost you're thrusted into a room full of strangers and, uh, you know, sort of expected to just walk up and, and get on with it. Um, 
So, but I do, I'm also a believer that, you know, you walk into a room full of strangers and you've got a chance to change your life. Um, because unless you move outside your immediate network, you're not going to get those introductions. So it is really important.